camp out in, in every disaster that presents itself, you're never going to move forward. Now at 11, officials from St. Vincent de Paul say they're staying optimistic despite losing a large number of items in storage during a fire that tore through one of their warehouses last night. Thanks for staying up with us this Monday night. I'm Jennifer Singh. Eugene Springfield fire officials are investigating the fire that broke out just before 8 o'clock Sunday night at the warehouse located right behind our KEZI 9 News Studios on the Chambers Media Center campus. The warehouse, formerly a soundstage, is leased by St. Vinny's. It's used for storage, keeping things like furniture and pre-sorted donations for the fall and winter seasons. What started as a one engine response turned into multiple as the smoke became too intense for firefighters. At one point, several giant boxes collapsing, causing fire crews to back away. Crews then improvising commandering forklifts to get some of the boxes out. Crews say, however, without the sprinkler system, the fire would have been much worse. The sprinklers held the fire in check. This would have been a horrible fire if the sprinklers weren't in place. But they held the fire to just a, a small fire within some boxes. Officials with St. Finney say none of the employees were inside at the time and no one was injured. Right now, all of the St. Finney stores and donation centers remain open and both physical and monetary donations are still encouraged as they continue to assess and sort through the damage. I am encouraged to see that there is some um, stuff that we're going to be able to salvage. Uh, we obviously want to go through everything that we've been able to pull out. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. If you want to help donate, we have more details on our website at KZI.com.